Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey. I'm here with the next part of the Pokemon Spotlight. This time we're going to be featuring Rayquaza. Now, Rayquaza is a great mixed wall breaker as well as a setup sweeper in Dragon Dance and Swords Dance. Has a nice move in Priority Extreme Speed as well as great stab in Dragon Ascent. Flying stab in general is just so good in Ubers, especially when you pair with the, the fact that this Pokemon has um, good coverage in general. Its ability allows it to hit Primo Groudon with Water Type Attack, which is also pretty cool. And honestly, it's biggest shortcomings are the fact that it has really thank you friend it has really really low bulk um, as well as weaknesses to really common typing such as fairy type in the ubers tier uh, so that's a little thing that Rayquaza does have going for it and it's actually pretty slow now this one that we have from faint is focus slash lead ray uh, with a uh, weakness policy Nicarazma um, with defensive grout on support Arceus uh, as well as Spex Xerneas and Z Marshadow. Now, yeah, man. So my opponent leads off with Ho. This is interesting because I can easily just Swords Dance up. Um, I don't think Sacred Fire is ever a good play. Uh, and it looks like my opponent actually ends up being banded. So this is kind of how Rayquaza works. A lead. This is basically how Rayquaza works. And it's actually just going to take a KO uh, right now. So the way Focus Dash works is you use it early to disrupt your opponent and actually getting rid of. I didn't even think about this at all, form a game plan at all, but if he goes Zygarde, I'll 2 it KO it, and if he gives me Ho-Oh, then uh, my Necrozma Decimain is looking even better, so, uh, and if he does give me Ho-Oh, Spec Xerneas is also even better, so, like, we're in a sense that this is the way that uh, Focus Dash Rayquaza works, you use it to really disrupt your opponent early. So being able to get rid of Ho-Oh, which is an essential switching that my opponent has to this mod, is pretty cool. Now, Gengar's a problem. And I don't want to sack Rayquaza, as I think it would be a nice sack for uh, Veltal, as that's a problem as well for me to bring into. So I don't mind bringing in Gengar or, or Groudon here. Uh, we're going to go for Rocks. I, even though it's Icy when I kind of doubt it's Taunt, and I feel like Zygarde is a really, really, really solid play right there that my opponent could go for. So Zygarde comes out. Uh, we'll go Arceus. If, it's, if it goes for Glare, that's fine too, because I can just Ice Beam anyway. I can still Ice Beam regardless of the Glare. And... Uh, if it brings out Gengar, it might have Hex, but while sacking this does make me weaker to something like a Veltal, uh, by getting the Ice Beam damage off on Gengar, Spec Xerneas just s destroys it. In my opinion, anyway. So, throw off an Ice Beam here. Uh, basically, Spec Xerneas is going to be able to pick up the KO. <sighs> I wanted two hits. I really, really, really wanted two hits, because I know he's going to be Hex. And that really sucks, because the only reason I allowed this to happen was because I wanted the two hits on Gengar so my Xerneas can put in work. Uh, so that really does suck. It actually just legitimately just sucks. I'll go for Photon Geyser with my Necrozma and just try and pick up a KO. Uh, I don't want to go for Sunsteel Strike. Uh, again, this is this is just bad in that situation. I feel like we might uh, lose just from that. But I can see my Marshadow still winning. I can definitely see Marshadow still winning. Um, but again, having that extra damage on Gengar meaning he can never come in on me. Ooh. You know, double? I'm actually gonna, yeah, I figured he'd double right there. Um, I, I clicked on Groudon, but uh, I went for my attack just to weaken this, because Xerneas' play made a lot of sense. In fact, if I'm Geomancy Xerneas, I actually win on the spot right now, because I got the two turns of Stealth Rock damage I needed on that mod. Um, but I don't mind using this to weaken his Xerneas answers, because again, Xerneas was my way that I thought I'd be winning this game anyway. So... I don't mind using this Mon to weaken it, um, especially because of Veltal. I'll live one foul play, and then Sunsteel Strike into Weakness Policy. Sunsteel Strike should knock him out. So again, uh, it would have been a really, really, really nice game plan had uh, had I got that Ice Beam damage off. But Marshadow is still looking very, very, very nasty, especially because Groudon's in range of close combat. Um, and Veltal, once it takes a Sunsteel Strike from Necrozma, it's looking good. I'm assuming that's Arceus Fairy, though, so I have to be a little bit careful. It gives me ground on. Beautiful. Don't have to worry about that at all. He goes Zygarde. I sack Rayquaza. I use Rayquaza early again because I'm going for the. I was going for the Xerneas win. I wish I was Scarf Xerneas actually, but uh, we use Rayquaza early to um, to disrupt them a ton. Doesn't matter about his glare. Go ahead and enjoy the Specs Moonblast, my friend. I wonder if he's gonna glare me too because if I had Geomancy, I just win exactly. So beautiful. Um, again, Marshadow is looking even better now. 
a little bit unfortunate about this. Because I definitely am trapped. And we can go right out into Groudon. Just click Overheat. That'll knock out the uh, Gengar. It'll also knock out a Veltal if he brings it in on me. And if he does, it made no sense to switch out Gengar there. Uh, hmm. That'd be nice to land. I went for it because it's more accurate than Press's Blade. But if Gengar does end up switching, it's in range of Technician boosted uh, attack. Huge sorry. I don't worry about it. It's okay, dude. I literally did what I wanted to do with Rayquaza, so I'm happy. Well, now it's a little bit less okay. But it is what it is at this point. Yeah, so I'm not sure if this actually KOs him. Um, I'm gonna lose to that uh, Veltal, aren't I? He just defogs. Right, so I might, I might just lose to a Veltal right here. Um, I'll always Sunstone Strike though. It depends on how this plays out. If he lets me... Okay, so he gives me that. Uh, it really depends on how this plays out, but I think that... I, I have a feeling that Sunstone Strike into weakness policy on Steel Strike will be able to knock out a Veltal. It just depends on him. That crit was big too. It depends on if he has Sucker Punch or not. Don't have it. Don't have it. Unfortunately, he does have it. And again, this is just the Ice Beam, the Para, the not KO and Groudon, all this was just so big um, for unfortunately this. Same thing. A good game. I don't think it was the best of games. I really do think the hacks ruined it, but at least I got to show off a game plan where what I wanted with Rayquaza could have happened um, had I <laughs> had attacks connected, had I not been full paired and whatnot. Anyway, love this matchup. Very much love it. Um, it's uh, Fly MZ, Dragon Dance, Ray, which puts in a lot of work, and he has a DNC, which is great for extra drill because I get up rocks anyway and do not care. So that's lovely. Uh, we're going to lead drill immediately. Um, let me look, show you guys the team real quick. I have some crazy teams too. Geomancy Zern. I got a Focus Sash Double. Great. So Lisa Veltal. Go ahead and get up our rocks immediately. Lovely. As he foul plays. Um, do I win if I Geomancy? I'm actually going to Toxic right here. This thing is annoying for Marsh Shadow as well as Ray. Actually less annoying for Ray because it looks like it's just a regular Veltal. Cool. I thought it was a defensive one, um, but that's definitely not defensive. Now, it's a little bit premature, but I'm going to Geomancy now. And the reason being is I think I can sweep him with Oblivion Wing at the end, but I want to weaken his Necrozma. So I'm going to Geomancy right now. Uh, if his Necrozma is not offensive or doesn't go for a Z move, um, and plus I weaken Groudon as well. It is a Z-move one. That's fine. Let me weaken you for a nice 2 at KO right there. This might not KO me. Exactly. So, okay. I have a good shot. He's going to go Marsh Shadow. And that's fine. That's all part of the plan anyway. So I have a good shot at doing things with um, this Pokemon. If I click Focus Blast here. I'm, I think I'm just going to click Moon Blast though. Um, as I don't want... I'd rather get damage off on the turn, and maybe it's a roll to KO anyway, um, but I'd rather get damage off on the turn regardless. Yeah, I, I'd much rather get damage off on the turn uh, regardless of what happens, so. Nice, I can just Shadow Sneak just in case he Ultra Burst. I kind of doubt it's Ultra Necro based on his team. But, uh, um, again, Ray is really being set up now to win. Uh, I just got to set up on, I think, Groudon. So, uh, we get rid of Nikirazuma. And Veltal comes out. Oh, this also just wins when it sets up. Wow. Not realize how good that was versus you. Another CC. <laughs> I get a crit. Uh, I don't think. Oh, it's defensive. Wait. What is this a Veltal? Is it def it's defensive Rocky Hummet, but it has Oblivion Wing. <laughs> That's really odd. I have to be careful because I can actually lose to the uh, to that Diancy. 
Defensive Rocky Helmet, faster than Excadrill. I don't want to lose to Dancy, but I want, I want to be able to set up on it with my Groudon so I can win this game. Especially this Blaze just sweeps. I feel like if I set up on this, I have to risk a Stone Edge. So I think the better play is to go Ray right now and just click Supersonic Sky Strike. Um, I'll, ne I'll knock out Evelts. I'll be sad if this Evelts is faster than me because then I could have Dragon Dance up and then Extreme Speed to knock him out. But I'm pretty sure uh, if he foul plays, I'll die to Shadow Sneak anyway. Um, so I'd much rather use Ray to break through a Veltal. That way, all I got to do is worry about his hitting Precipice Blades, which is slightly more accurate than Stone Edge. Nice. We're going to Dragon Dance here. Um, he can easily knock me out if he Mega Evolves and go for Moon Blast, but if he breaks Groudon and goes for Earth Power, we're good either way. Yep, and then I get in my Groudon, and I get to Rock Polish up. Now, unfortunately, this could be Sub, Endeavor. I see Magnet Rises. Um... I think that Stone Edge is still going to blow this Deancey back. But if it's Life Orb Shadow Sneak, I might lose my Groudon. This is Adamant, though, so yeah, I'm pretty sure... Again... On oh, it's E-Killer. Ah, it's E-Killer. Really, on this type of team? So that's two L's, unfortunately. Foul play couldn't do it? No. I gotta go for Dark Pulse Flinches, even though he can easily just Extreme Speed. I, I don't think SDing is, a, is necessary. Because if I flinch, there's you know always that chance, but I would need to double flinch anyway. That was a big roll difference. My metronome? Again. Uh, so definitely didn't go the way I uh, I wanted it to, but that was I think more so on me. I think what I should have done well, I guess it didn't matter because he'd RC. I, I didn't expect the E killer on this type of team, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try that team one more time. Um, the first one I think would have been a W, but that one was definitely an L. But I don't think I'll lose to that again as well if I play that. Because now I know what he has. Uh, which is a big one. But uh, should I, I, Nice, I don't have to pause it. Beautiful. Oh, this is a cool offensive build. Really lovely for Rayquaza if it manages to set up on anything. Which probably only be Age Slash. But get a Rocks up. Set up with Ray, hopefully on Age Slash, if anything. And then break through his team. Hey, man. Have fun. Sigmund Roid. <laughs> you specs? You modest specs? You are, you're probably gonna get some kills. As far as defoggers go, yeah. Nice. I get some damage off on you too for Ray. Beautiful. I'll definitely take it. I think that's modest specs Kirim. <laughs> that's definitely modest specs Kirim. Mm hmm. My counter. So, it could be Defog of Eltal, which it looks like it is. If he doesn't Defog right away, which he should, but if he doesn't, if he opts to Roost, I get in Xerneas. But I think he should always Defog immediately. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I'm not going to bother predicting the Age Slash. I'm going to click Moonblast here, uh, especially because that is defensive of Eltal. And I think Age Slash's role is to click Toxic right now. Like, that's... It's, Game plan, Rock Polish Ground is so nasty, holy crap. So I'm gonna allow him to click Toxic as I weaken him for uh, hopefully my Ray, which is again what I'm going for. Now I don't, what, what I decide, what I'm gonna do right here is actually go out into uh, Marshadow and um, because uh, Eveltal has not roosted, oh I don't need a 31, that's nasty, it's nothing. I don't want him toxic in Groudon basically because I think that Groudon can win it. Nice. We'll go right here. Um, I think you go a Veltal and I want to Z that. That's a King Shields. That's cool too. Now, this is an interesting thing because, like, if I'm if I'm mixed, this is the one I want to set up on anyway. Uh, if I'm mixed, Aegis Slash would drop, and Xerneas becomes a problem. You always King Shield here. But I'm going to Z something anyway. Oh, nice. Sacks Kyurem anyway, so good. I don't have to worry about that. Um, my Z literally picks up a KO. It literally picks up a KO. Now, he doesn't know if I was Sash or Z or not. Um, Aveltal coming in 
I will never not click Supersonic Sky Strike. I either weaken Aegis Slash to the point of plus two Xerneas, or I knock out a Veltal, keeping up rocks, pressuring Groudon, and just using Ray to uh, honestly break for my own Groudon. As you can see, my own Groudon literally clicks Rock Polish and clicks Presses, Blades, and Wins, or my Ray uh, just puts in so much work anyway versus him. So I'm surprised he didn't King Shield there. And I'm assuming he went off the assumption that I was Sash Ray, not Z. So he didn't scout for it. But again, a scout could have been deadly as well. Uh, get up careful though, because I don't want to lose to Naga Nadel. I wanted to Dragon Dance there, but I didn't feel the need to. Especially because plus one Earthquake either smacks Groudon, smacks Naga Nadel, smacks Aegis Slash, and also puts something in range of... Like if he goes Kyogre, it puts it in range of my Rock Polish Groudon. Yeah, but to be to be fair, Sash is something I could have been with Drill Team. So I understand your play. But yeah, that's just like what my thought process was behind that. Yeah, exactly. And basically, a Veltal being as weakened as it could have been would have been bad regardless. So, just Dragon Ascent, get rid of Naga Nadel. Lovely. Now, game plan is try not to lose to Rock Polish Groudon. Um, so, basically, I go a Veltal here and click Dark Pulse if it is offensive. Though I doubt it's offensive, I'm pretty sure it's his rocker. I click Dark Pulse. Um, and I bring in my Groudon on his Kyogre, so that gives me the uh, ample opportunity to set up. Nice, we just use turn here. Oh, that's offensive Kyogre. In fact, I think that's Lonely Nature. So I'll sack my Xerneas. Uh, he might just uh, Liquidation or Earthquake right here. Ice Beams. Geomancy is literally the only play that denied Groudon uh, the opportunity to set up right there. Uh, if it was Rock Posh, because it would allow me to hit it with a plus two Moonblast um, and stopping it from double setting up. Also able to get rid of that. Beautiful. And uh, he needs plus two to knock me out. So I just, I'm pretty sure this is rocks and defensive, in fact. Um, though it could be offensive. But even if it is rock polish, HP ice, fire blast, I mean, that would suck. But <sighs> yeah, like uh, I'm, I was just hoping that it wasn't. Good game, dude. God can do whatever it was, man. It's Groudon. But nice, Ray put in some beautiful work. It was able to break uh, for Veltal and things like that. So <laughs> Luna passed with this nasty team. <laughs> Luna passed with this nasty team with Sub DD Ray. I actually love Sub, or like the idea of Sub, um, as you avoid glares and stuff. It's like Sub max HP, so it's really interesting. Uh, with T spikes, that's pretty cool. So you can set up on recovering Pokemon. Uh, Willow has come mind that. I have a defogger, unfortunately. Yeah, do I lose this out? I feel like I lose this element in the spot, but I also feel like I don't. I don't know if that makes sense, but... We always pin missile here. As the Oxus should taunt. Yep, and we get faster than it. Um, pin missile is used because of Sash and whatnot. Can we get three so I don't have to worry about exactly the next turn? That's nice. Perfect, so I'm faster. Uh, that means 95% of the time this Deoxys is going down. Beautiful. So we prevent any hazards, which is amazing. Um, however, he still does have a Salamence. Still does have a Salamence. Does a Xerneas. All that stuff. Very many turns. As you can see, I have a Mega Houndoom, by the way. Oh, there's Mence. Uh, Hard Arceus is my only play. Hard Arceus is definitely my only play. Nice Earthquake. Surprise he quaked there. What was the thought process behind quaking? I'm gonna recover. Yeah, as he goes ground on, nice. I have no priority on the team. I might just lose this ground on the spot. I think it's, it's not rocks. It's definitely set up. So if he attacks right here, Scolipede, I, I get to Endeavor. I 
I endeavor right now for sure. Yeah, I have to endeavor, and I'll be faster uh, with my plus one speed. Um, so, <laughs> please hit. Will I be faster with my plus one speed? Land. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Big Buzzle about to eat this. Big Buzzle, you're, you're 414. You're eating this for sure. That's fine. I had. Yeah, yum it up. Yum that boy up. That's swole. I recovered 0%, but I didn't lose the ground on. And I got a beast boost in the fence. That's fire. I wonder if I can 1v1 the Salamence. That is a terrible idea, by the way, guy. Try and 1v1 Mence. <laughs> yeah, that was fire. Look at Big Swole. And, and Skull be put in more work than I expected it to. I'm not going to lie. Not, not only did they get rid of the Oxus, but it stopped me from losing. What Ice Punch here? Lovely. I'll go ahead and toxic on his roost. You can double edge me. You better double edge me. <sighs> what a good turn. What a great turn. Not because now you can potentially set up again. Not really, I did 74. So the reason I want toxic is because in the event that he crits me right now, because I'm pretty sure Earthquake is not gonna knock me out. But um, I need to get rid of Mence. So, and Salamence is a giant threat no matter what I do. Alright, thankfully he gives me Mence. I can also will o -Wish the Nicarazma. If he wants to go out to that, of course. I would go that over Xerneas, I feel. Um, then again, you could also go Arceus, nice. So, yo, go Ultra Burst and land. What a good game! <laughs> Nice. There goes a win. I set up on this with my bulky ray when he's burnt. Goodbye, game. I gotta burn him with fire blast, assuming I live in earthquake. Well. Uh, there goes a Rayquaza sweep, which I was going for. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because I can actually set up on this thing because of max HP. As you can see, he did that much, so he would have done half. And losing damage turn per turn. Rather, taking damage turn per turn. Yeah, that was, that was no game. Oh well. <laughs> it's the game we play. It still was cool that uh, Luna's team, I think, was going to win that one. Uh, especially because if I burnt him... Like, losing Buzzwell kind of sucked, but I don't think Buzzwell was one of the that anyway without the burn. Um, and I couldn't risk switching, but that was, like, the best turn I could hope for. That he goes hard into that mon, and I didn't... Yo, why do I have the sub mon in this? Sub would have won on preview! No! Oh. This guy has a smear goal. So automatically, I'm thinking Feral Thorn is going to be good. As far as Ray goes, uh, I, as far as Veltal goes, it's going to be the only thing that stops me from losing to Mewtwo plus Lunala. Um, guarded by this, Groudon is offensive. No, will we leave Feral? Um, Feral is the only thing that stops Smeargle from doing its thing. Gift Haunt or Magic Coat? I'm going to try and spike up because I want Mewtwo to be weakened for a Veltal. Because Mewtwo Y. And Lunala Shadow Shield to be broken. Eh, it's okay. I don't... I don't defog very easily, but he also doesn't beat Feral Thorn very easily. <laughs> oh, never mind. My Feral Thorn's dead. My Feral Thorn's now dead. For he has taunted it. Now, I think I'm Physical Mixed Ogre on this one. So I think that is also my game plan versus the... Uh, the Mewtwo when it comes out right now. It goes Deancey. Alright, give me Deancey too. Cool. Alright, so don't need a Dark Resist besides a Velta, I guess. Uh, Mewtwo comes out. Kyogre's always my play as I absorb that Fire Blast and then I think Liquidation claims me one. Thank you for living that, Kyogre. <laughs> Go ahead and give me Mewtwo. That's completely fine. I, I literally did my job with this mod. That's all I needed. 
Um... Arceus is a problem. Like, I think I might lose to Arceus. Ray. Thank you. All right, perfect. Uh, being able to get rid of a Veltal, awesome for my own dark spam. If he goes Lunala, I mean, it's faster than me, unfortunately, but I do have my Scarf of Veltal for that as well. Uh, and my uh, Feral Thorn at full. If he goes Arceus, I just spam... Dragon Ascent until I die. Spam Dragon Ascent until I die. He can even be SD Recover. I can't let him be SD Recover, basically, so it's life for him. Nice. Hey, buddy. I know you want to get paralyzed, but uh, let's be friends. No? Nice. We take those. Spam that Gyro Ball. Go route to a belt and win. Beautiful. And you know what Ray did? Ray lived the one hit he had to. That way I can click Dark Pulls right here and win. U-turn is literally my best prayer to break his Shadow Shield because I cannot lose. Cannot lose regardless. Like I said, I cannot lose this mod. I'm fairly confident I won't lose this mod. All I gotta do is judge me here. And then I foul play and win. So as long as it's uh, it's Shadow Shield is broken, I'm good. Oh god. Nice, we landed. Beautiful. So you can go ahead and knock me out. Like I said, as long as Shadow Shield is broken, I'm fairly confident that this will KO. Was it? I mean, you sacked everything the Feral Thor. I lost so fast, I don't know why. I think... Underestimated Pharaoh. Because... Going DNC early meant two kills for one. And force to blast. I'm, I'm fairly confident this KOs anyway because it's four times effective. Like I said, um. Yeah, and like he. Usually, all I did was sack ogre, but the NC. I mean, ogre always survives that. What if he lives? There's no way, dude. It's four times effective and it's boosted my ability. Good game. Anyway, um, that was the game. Last but not least, hey, Ray putting in some work there. Not that bulky, but you know, that starmy bulk, just enough. So we have a life orb ray. It's actually not mixed, but we're using the first V create uh, ray of the day uh, with Spike Sparrow, Default Giratina. Liquidation Mixed Ogre, and uh, Geomancy Zern, as well as Mega Lucario. And I love Ray's ability to weaken my opponent's team. I've, I've said that so many times today, um, but I really do uh, like that a lot right now. Ha, I finally met you. What's up, man? Have fun, dude. No toxic on the team versus. Oof, not not a big fan. Not a big fan of no toxic on the team versus a uh, ho. -oh. Nah, that's all right. I lead ogre always, especially because I'm mixed. It threatens ho to the point where he has to go Groudon. And that boy banner. I never touched in four plus, but I thought I tried ubers because of your videos. Hey, that's awesome, dude. I didn't mean to write dude. I was just saying that out loud, but like I just came out as I was typing. So I'm assuming you play, so you play ADV, ADV, GSC. Uh, nah, Ray. Love, love ADV. Great meta. That ADV. I love Ray. 
<laughs> on its first release. It's annoying Pokemon. Anyway, um, safest play is Ice Beam first. Especially because he revealed that Scarf of Veltal. That makes Ray's job so much easier because uh, unless... I think that's Arceus Fairy, but he does not switch in well to Ray at all. And basically Ice Beam because it was the play that got in... That make, make Groudon feel safe, you get me? Not bad, man. It was the play that made Groudon feel safe. That would have done a good chunk on Kyogre regardless, but like I said, the play that made Groudon feel safe, Kyogre is going to be able to click Liquidation this entire game, and I can just Ice Beam here uh, for a KO, hitting both a Veltal, knocking out Groudon as he goes ho-oh. Uh I really don't want to be hit by a defensive hole. I know he's going to toxic me too. This is my answer to uh, this mod. Feral Thunder is nothing in this game. As he goes about, perfect. So we'll power up right now because we're not allowing Groudon to come in and get its rocks. Um, he actually gives me a hit off on the uh, Eveltal, which I think is pretty nice too. Assuming that's Arceus Fairy, which I'm going, like I said, I'm going under the assumption that it is. I have Lucario for it, so I feel fine. And Geomancy's Ernest is looking so good. Man, I knew that was going to happen. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. No, stop it. Play your win con. Don't go to Garatina and let it take a hit for no reason. This is higher accuracy than Power Whip. Man! Ah! Shit just whipped. Alright, well, liquidation is literally free, like I said. Protect. I'll just spike again. Let him sacred fire me because, again, my KO is here. My KO is now. Um, basically, spike, I think, ensures that any defensive Arceus form is not going to take this. Uh, basically, every mon on his team right now will die. That Spike also Spike also breaks through Mars Shadow. And look how good Geomancy's Ernie is. Look how good Lucaro is, more importantly, uh, versus him. You are a problem, sir. I'm not switching. You better be Life Orb or Z, buddy. That's, that was not KO. I get the play, though. He was obviously anticipating me to want to go out into uh, Giratina, but... Again, Lucario is looking so nasty. I mean, I'm just playing my wing con, dude. Yeah, Giratina's, uh, I'm still fine. I'm definitely fine. I don't Geomancy there because I have to weaken this thing anyway. Um, and because this thing wasn't rock, wow, I could have actually Geomancy there. Because this thing wasn't rocks, all I gotta do is go Giratina, right? On his Sunstill Strike. I Dragon Tail out Eveltal a little bit, because I, I basically Geomancy up on uh, Eveltal. Actually, I should have not even Dragon Tail out Eveltal, and it was Arceus Fairy, like I said. No, dude, you're, you're, oh, bro, you're choking, no! Anyway, I just spam Dragon Tail till I die. Ah, oh, dude, no, you threw, bro. Basically, I was going for the positioning with Xerneas. I didn't even get to use Rayquaza in this. Sorry, man, that's not living. GG, dude. I understand all of his plays. Um, I do, but because I was so dead set on how I was going to win, uh, I made it so it doesn't matter what my opponent does. I almost clicked Geomancy again. Yeah, and the reason I didn't Geomancy initially is because I didn't know what type of Necrozma he was, but based on that initial, uh, based on the damage from the first Moonblast, like, I, I knew that all I had to do was go Giratina, click Dragon Tail, because if he set up, it didn't matter. I had, um, thank you for that. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that, bro. All right, man. Did I say good game already? I did. Okay, so we'll end it there. Um, but like, had it been Ultra Necrozma, he would have had to Ultra Burst and still not knock me out and have like Outrage. Uh, if he tried to set up, didn't matter. Dragon Tail hit a Veltal. Um, but it mainly stopped the setup. Uh, because if it was like SD Morning Sun, that could have been a problem. So Dragon Tail was like something to prevent that. Also catch a Veltal. And also reveal Arceus Fairy, which is cool. But 
I basically try to sack that so I can Geomancy and win. I do hope you guys all enjoyed, of course. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.